Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with a White Sox and uh, also baseball update as well. Um, before we get to the White Sox signing, I want to talk about the fact that baseball's back. Unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, you know that uh, baseball is back and playing. Uh, spring training started this weekend, and the first games of the season will happen on April 7th, which is really not too far out of the ordinary to what I'm accustomed to, because when I was a kid, that's about when the baseball season started anyway. This March 31st stuff, I don't know where they ever got that from. But anyway, the season will start on April 7th. They will get all the uh, 162 games in. There are various rule changes, but you've probably read about all of those. I'm not going to go over all of those. But one result of the lockout has been that once they decided on, uh, you know, enough to sign and ratify the deal, there was going to be a rash of signings. And as it turns out, there really has been a rash of signings and trades and yada, yada, yada. So I'm just going to quickly recap a few of those, and then we're going to get to what the White Sox have done. Um, the Phillies have signed uh, relief pitcher Juris Familia. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. He used to be on the Mets. He is now on the Phillies. The Rockies signed Jose Iglesias. So that signals the possibility that Trevor Story is gone from the Rockies, very likely. Um, the Mets acquired Chris Bassett for their rotation. So now, not only do they have Scherzer, but they have Chris Bassett and they have DeGrom, who they've always had, pretty much. So that is going to be a great Mets rotation, you got to believe. Um, and Kershaw is going to stay in L.A. despite the rumors, at least for this coming year, despite the rumors that he was going to go to Texas because he's originally from Texas and wanted to play in Texas. That was true of Nolan Ryan. Not so much of Kershaw. Um, and uh, the Rangers have uh, done a deal with Minnesota where they get Garver from the Twins in return for Kiner Falefa, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, and Ronnie Hernandez, a relief pitcher. So that's just a quick, and that's, pro, that's not all the deals. Oh, and another one I forgot. The Orioles have signed Robinson Chirinos catcher Robinson Chirinos. So, um, and we don't know what that means for Rushman. Is Rushman going to be in the minors another year? So we'll have to see. Um, but anyway, um, I digress. And there's probably other signings and trades and whatever. I was just going down a couple of the quick ones that I saw. But now to the White Sox. The White Sox have signed Joe Kelly, relief pitcher Joe Kelly, to a two-year deal, uh, although 2024 is a club option. And uh, it's said to be for $17 million in guaranteed money for the two years. Um, and they have also signed Josh Harrison. And uh, he is on a one-year $5.5 million deal for the White Sox. Now, uh, in typical White Sox fashion, they weren't exactly swinging for the fences on these deals. However, I do like the deals. I, you know, you don't always have to go out and get Freddie Freeman or Trevor Story to make, um, to make an impact within your team. And the White Sox are a very good team. Uh, yeah, I mean, we won the division last year. And, um, oh, and by the way, also San Francisco, I forgot, San Francisco got our man Rodon. So Rodon is on San Francisco. We're down a Rodon. But I think the White Sox planned on that happening. Probably going to slide Kopech into that starting rotation, hoping that that's going to be what happens. But if you slide Kopech into that starting rotation, yeah, you go out and you get Graveman, which they've already done, and I got a video on that, and I'm going to attach that in, you know, at the end on the uh, end screen so that you can uh, go click on that if you missed it. But you uh, 
I guess you would also go out and get uh, Kelly, Joe Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly. So anyway, last year, uh, Joe Kelly was 2-0 with a 286 earned run average in 44 innings and a 0 0.98 whip. So he was very good last year for the 44 innings he pitched. Although for $17 million guaranteed money, let's hope he pitches more than 44 innings for us. Um, and then Josh Harrison hit 279 with eight home runs and 60 RBIs, a 741 OPS, a 2.2 war, and he plays everywhere. The guy is a jack of all trades and really master of none. But, um, you know, that's, that's great. I mean, he's like a, uh, you know, he's uh, Lurie Garcia light. No, actually, he's probably, he's probably Lurie Garcia plus. But um, anyway... So that's what the White Sox have done. Again, I think they're uh, I think they're nice signings. I wouldn't say that. Um, I mean, given what the White Sox have, the players that they already have, and how good a team they already are, I like these signings. They uh, they augment the team nicely. If they were the same crappy White Sox from like 2018, then yeah, these wouldn't have done much. But given the team that they have, I think it helps. I like them. But what do you guys think? Um, and what's your favorite team? And uh, who, have they signed anybody yet? Um, let me know in the, uh, dis in the um, uh, comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, subscribe to the channel, especially if you like to get this content, because i got to look this stuff up. All right, so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.